Want to see something cool? Take a moment and imagine the dumbest, simplest switch you can possibly think of. No, not that hobo hump and slowbo babe from last summer. A goldfish wouldn't love her twice. I'm talking about this fucking thing. This exquisite example of electrical engineering is a sparkly little bit of dangerous fun. Like you. It's a spark gap. Just two electrodes with a proximity as specific as a urinal lineup. And it functions like a voltage-controlled switch. Once the voltage is high enough to jump the gap, it turns itself on and completes the circuit until the voltage drops again. This is the electrostatic version of I'm not touching you! Until someone gets punched in the face. That moment when it changes states from off to on and the electricity jumps the gap is called the breakdown voltage. The breakdown voltage for air at standard temperature and pressure is 300 volts. That means that in a typical room, no matter how close you put a pair of wires, so long as they're not actually touching, you cannot get a spark to jump below 300 volts. And that's why almost every piece of wire in your house is rated for 300 volts. Now we can totally fuck with this to bend the laws of physics to our will. Because we're engineers. If you move the electrodes further apart, you can increase the breakdown voltage. Fancy versions of this even have a micrometer adjustment to really dial in the voltage it'll arc at. In this case, we can see they added a glass envelope. This lets you control the atmosphere, so we can reduce the pressure to lower the voltage or increase the pressure to make it harder for the arc to jump. We can even fill it with anything from hydrogen, which won't explode if it's pure, Honest! To sulfur hexafluoride, if we really want to push the voltage up and make this as hard to turn on as Nikola Tesla himself. He's fine, so long as you don't flipping the bird. A spark gap is something you can easily build at home, and we're going to use them a lot as we learn more about high voltage, and that's pretty cool.